Hi, you two people, yay! First video I ever, I've ever done, and I'm basically gonna do it to keep track of myself and to help other people on the way to pick locking. I've taken it up as a hobby lately, and I picked up a couple of days ago I started, and a couple of days ago I picked up a 46mm brass padlock from Blackspur PD104. Now, in my area, they're very, very common, um, especially for sheds or whatever. And, um, well, yeah, I'm just going to show you today how easy these things are. They cost like £1.50. I thought, oh, it'd be cool to start with. And, as you can see, the key works fine. Whatever. Great. But when I realised that, you actually don't need to set any pins in this. It's not even funny. Right, but here I got a broken pick. I snapped it in my lock by accident a couple of days ago when I was picking the house lock. But... Just to prove a point, here it is, you know, in, twist, there's no need to send any pins or nothing. And I've also experimented, you can do it with paper clips or anything of the sort. And the amount of people that have these local by me is just purely unbelievable. And I'm not joking, I mean if I wanted to have a Robin Fiesta, I could freaking go out there and just rob whoever. You know, it's that simple. So. If a kid watches this, it's so easy to do. But this is more or less a war, not only do anything illegal at all. Because obviously, I'm not held responsible for that. This is just basically to let you know. It's like an FYI. Especially to people who search this padlock and want to know how safe it actually is. Because I honestly wouldn't recommend it. So yeah, thanks everybody for watching the video. And hopefully you'll like me, subscribe to me, and I'll show you my... Next video, well, maybe tomorrow, the day after or something, I don't know. I mean, just keep in touch. I'll show you my, follow me my expertise of actually pick locking. It's going to be fun to watch me cuss at some things. Italio. Peace.